So the turnover by the Broncos. Back to back weeks, ball mm -hmm. has fumbled. It's moments like these that make saying goodbye to Moreno even more painful after the Broncos released Noshan, who then signed with the Dolphins on March 27th. After becoming the first Bronco in franchise history to rush over 1,000 yards and receive over 500 in a single season, expectations are set high for Monte Ball in 2014. Now before we remember Monte for his fumbles, let's remember the kind of player he was before the 2013 season. Monte was drafted 58th overall by the Broncos in the 2013 draft, before Offensive Rookie of the Year, Eddie Lacy, even left the board. Elway said his running style was a lot like Terrell Davis. Jump 32 inches in the vertical jump. A former Wisconsin Badger who grew up idolizing Terrell Davis, Monte Ball was a beast in college, rushing for nearly 2,000 yards his junior and senior season alone, setting records such as the NCAA career touchdown record. Monte Ball even featured in an episode of ESPN's Sports Science where he demonstrated power and speed that are comparable to current stars like Adrian Peterson, Ryan Matthews, or Arian Foster. In 2012, Adrian Peterson had one of the greatest seasons a running back could ever have, especially recovering from an ACL injury. That year, the Vikings offense handed the rock to AP 348 times. In comparison, Monty Ball during his senior year was given the ball 356 times. That's eight more carries in two less games than the NFL season. Now in the NFL, Monte Ball does have a ball security issue. Losing two of three fumbles in his first 33 touches in weeks two and three against the Giants and the Raiders. But he didn't fumble again until 140 touches later in week 11 against the Patriots. In college, Monte didn't even fumble until his 655th carry and didn't lose one until his 802nd touch. That's nearly three years of rushing attempts in the NFL without losing a single fumble. That's as reliable as it gets. However, the biggest issue for Monte was blocking. During the preseason game against the Seahawks, Monte failed to block correctly, which resulted in Manning hitting the grass. That is one of the main reasons Moreno was our starter instead of Ball. Elway said Monte's running style was like Terrell Davis. He said nothing about his blocking, which Terrell Davis took very seriously. And the reporters were coming in and saying, you had a great game. And I'm thinking, man, no, I didn't have a good game. Number one, I blew four assignments that you wouldn't know I blew. And number two, I missed a couple of blocks. But considering that Monte, as a rookie, was thrown into this high caliber offense, it's reasonable to say he needed time to develop and adjust to the faster and tougher speed of the NFL. With Moreno gone and Ronnie Hillman competing for the starting job, the time for rookie mistakes is over if Monte wants to succeed in this Broncos offense. Will Monte Ball ever become the Terrell Davis for the Broncos? Only time will tell, but until then, Let's put our faith in Monte and our trust in Elway. What a run! How many tackles did he break on that baby? Now what do you think of Monte Ball? Do you think he has what it takes? Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time on DBC, the Denver Broncos channel.